Hi, my name is Jade Zeller and I'm going to be presenting my study that I started back in May of this summer. Um, survival trends are used to find and understand population fluctuations, monitor habitats, and estimate sex ratios. All of these reveal if conservation is needed and if it's needed, how to carry it out. Sexual selection drives evolution and many times results in color dimorphisms, which means the sexes are different colors. This tends, tends to result in colorful males and cryptic females. One of my study species, the Northern Cardinal, is sexually dimorphic, where males are a bright red and females are a grayish tan. My other study species is the gray catbird, which is sexually monomorphic, where both males and females are a dark gray. I predicted that if sex and morph affect survivability, males of both species will have higher survival rates than their conspecific females. Furthermore, I predicted that gray catbirds will have the highest survivability. This study utilized mark recapture data starting from 2010 to 2018, making nine years of data. 10 misnets were used to capture and ban birds in the Ohio State Lima Tecumseh National Area on campus during the months of May through August. We opened the mist nets at sunrise and checked them every 40 minutes for about five hours. When birds were captured, they were identified, sexed, aged, banded, and then released. We also recorded the time of day, the date, and the location of the net. Data was analyzed through a robust design model in program MARC. This compared survival rate with time, group, which is male versus female, age class, which is first captures versus subsequent captures, and their interactions. In the nine year span, 48 Northern Cardinals and 97 gray catbirds were caught. I found that Northern Cardinal Cardinal survival did not vary by sex, which you can see in table one. But the four models in the table showed that age class affects survival rate, which you can see in figure one. First captures had higher survival rates than subsequent captures. Northern Cardinal emigration was affected by sex, with females having higher emigration rates than males. For both sexes, immigration capture probability and recapture probability rates were similar. For gray catbirds, I found that survival was affected by sex, which you can see in table two. In figure two, you can see survival rates are higher for females than for males. Figure three shows an effect of time, which is a yearly difference in survival rates. And figure four shows the effect of age class, which reveals subsequent captures have higher survival rates than first captures. Catbird emigration was also affected by sex, with females having higher emigration rates than males. For both sexes, immigration, capture probability, and recapture probability rates were similar. My hypothesis was not supported. Another study also found that northern cardinals and or northern cardinal, cardinal survival what did not differ by sex and that gray catbird survival did. But contrary to my findings, they found that male gray catbirds had higher survival rates than females. So although I found support for a sex difference in gray catbirds, the difference in survival is small, which means it may not be biologically significant. I also found that both species survival rates were affected by age class, but in opposite directions. Most studies find that younger birds have lower survival rates as I found with gray catbirds. Age class is usually modeled to control for transients in population. So in my population, northern cardinals may be more sedentary and thus have a higher survival after initial capture. Furthermore, both species immigration rates were varied by sex. Immigration is not widely studied, but has an important consequence for population connectivity. Thus, future studies should seek to determine why male and female immigration rates vary. Thank you for listening.